I'm smoking them. I think I'm gonna run my ass all the way down to this place. Wow, there's no. Fuck it, I'm already. dangerous if I'm not careful. Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there. And I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I have never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending What's up, babe? from that troll attack. And I shall never you better save it for my soda. I feel like we're going after it. And Harlow in the three broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. Why are you smiling at me like a whack job? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood... Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? My mummy! Archie, I don't... I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home, especially when I'm inside with your little sister. I never thought Ramrock's loyalist. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. 
took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Venrog's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are babe, a I'm a witch. It's my calling, though most and I'm catching up to you already, baby. For a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with green gods. We should duel each, each other. Finest brush that Ramrock's like. Who do you think will win? For any of my work, and it will be tossed aside for kindred. I'm the true Huffle Buff. My my Who knows when I'll be able to paint again? Roll another blunt. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think we're going to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Yes, a wonderful choice. You can buy potions, you man. Sometime. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? I want to talk to him. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioner. I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. You dropped me off at... at the, uh, you dropped me off at work. It's the standard price. You got the whole day. This is a low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. That will be all. Thank you for your time. I should have looked at the assignment better. I would have been able to get that spell, but oh well. That's what's up. You need to get your money up, girl. That you should be getting money for fucking quests, but like normal fucking. What the hell are those things? Spiders? Okay, uh... We can wrap for that. I know, right? Uh. 
Who's mad at you, babe? Huh? I said, who's mad at you? Why? That's right, baby. Two levels, baby. I'm level nine now. That's right, baby. Two levels, baby. I'm level nine now. I'm a wizard, babe. I'm a wizard. No, I'm a witch. Alright, let me see if I can dodge these assholes over here. I wonder if there's gonna be spiders. Yeah, they're gonna be the spiders. Incendium. Oh, they're fucking. Bill L1 and R1. I don't want to right now. See my quest. See how many times I did that have I accomplished my assignment. Alright, one more dodge and I'm good. Past the ruins. I'm on the There it is, there it is. Oh man, I killed it already. Shit. Yeah it is. I wasn't expecting to kill it so fast. Cause I'm a beast, son! How many spiders have you killed so far? An encampment. This must be it. How nice of you to stop. So you gotta sneak up on them being visible, babe. What? What? Why? So you to tease me? No, I said you gotta sneak up on them and be invisible. I'm not teasing you. I'm not teasing. How many have we killed? Oh. 
You haven't been investigating the areas yet? Yeah, yeah, and you'll find items and stuff. How are they able to see me? I'm invisible. Where the other assholes at? So the will red shields by the way, you have to break them with the fire. Levioso is yellow, apparently. It was easy, because I got close. skills. You see me smoke them without taking a hit, babe? Come on. How do I open that? Break it either. It's crazy. Oh, it shows you what items are that you can collect. This is money. Over here. Oh, I see.
Damn, these dogs ain't playing, man. God damn, they were like, bitch, you ain't gonna kill us. Playing, babe. They were out for blood, girl. All right, now let's teleport back. You see them trying to kill me, babe? Those wolves were ruthless, weren't they, babe? They were like, oh, I'm gonna get you. It's like a place right out of a storybook. You're here for my wares. Arm, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. I'm glad you're all right. Yeah, dude, because I got oh, skilled. I have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. That's how we do it in the wizarding world, baby. My goal is to catch up to your level before I have to go to work. You think I'll be able to catch up to you, baby? Some treasure chest I'm about to collect up in this motherfucker, though. Oh, what? There's gotta be a chest I can get. Oh, nice. Everywhere you go, you should hit uh, Revealio, babe. It's gonna help you find stuff. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Mm, let's see what this actually looks like. Mm. What do you think, babe? I don't like it. Keep my forehead. Oh, okay. Let's take a wand sticks here. What's that look like? Hmm. That actually looks pretty cool. Let's take that one out. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go with this bad boy. I like my handle, babe. You like my handle? About to be disarming some wizards, babe. You know what spell I'm gonna get rid of? The, the invisible, the invisibility spell for right now. Everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might Bear encounter. Me. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady mind. We learn in spells. We learn in spells. Good work. Here, if you wish to stay in practice. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. 
I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. I... I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were... uh... students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Uh, as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. You seem to have the right end of the stick. The last may save your life one day. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous, venomous. tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug.
Bell should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it! Come, babe. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can the best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They Damn can right. be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Yes, they can. I'll say I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You've visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here. In the she's classroom. trying to, she's trying to bloom me, babe. One on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy or roses. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. I can't believe you didn't know how to do this, babe. You said you didn't know how to do the plant seeds and stuff. Well done. Yeah. Then how don't you know how to make potions? Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron the cabbages do get testy without something to chew fortunately i have a dummy for them to gnaw on be a dear and let them have a good chomping yes professor they're in the other greenhouse it's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room your classmate mr pruitt has kindly offered to accompany you come back and see me when you're finished oh and mind your fingers they do bite What should I be doing right now? I'd like you to get some hands-on experience with the Chinese chomping cabbages. They're in the greenhouse, just across the footbridge. Mr. Pruitt will assist you with them. Now remember, a wand is not a trowel. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cab. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy.
Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Lumos.
that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Thank you, Professor, but looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. But those mandrakes are really relishing their new pot. some assistance hello can I help you oh thank goodness yes my name is Grace Pinch Smedley of the Bath Pinch Smedley's I was hoping someone would come along soon I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself you see I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake might you be the one to help me Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know of your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. 
I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Use for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. So much to our family. Ah, let's do it. The asteroid is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Going for a swim. It's a hot day, and we're going for a swim. Hey, did you put the clothes in the dryer yet? This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Should I be, should I give her Escalade back? How are you going to give her Escalade back? I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did find it. However, I've taken a liking to it, so I'm going to keep it. What? But you can't! It doesn't belong to you! Finders keepers, Grace. I can't believe this! <laughs> Father's stupid oath just cost us a priceless family artifact. I hope your new astrolabe brings you nothing but sorrow. If you can even work out how to use it. I knew I should have done the dive myself. Father's wishes be damned. That's fucked up, babe. Hmm. <laughs> 
When I fought Hufflepuff, I'm kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I should be a Slytherin, huh, babe? I should've known! Yeah, you should've, bitch. You don't know me. As long as I still get my items, I don't really care my experience. I must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a dog shit nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid Now you've done it. Stop that right there! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Bring it. Just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. <sighs> Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. You know I got skills. Our two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you. Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner. Ah, yeah, she's a Hufflepuff. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the Tales of our King Arthur's court were mere myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent.
this trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! Oh, beard! The flames make the pyres sink. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Why do we even have flying? Really have no
is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Accio to get to those books. Got it. I need four more to go. Lumos. Lumos. Does Professor Black have children of his own?
Take them back to Cressida. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. Should never have trusted them. Any luck finding my diary and the rest of my books? Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. Should never have trusted them.
that's it. I'm making good progress with these tokens. Revelio. Maybe Auras or someone There's from the Ministry guarding the school of the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which...